Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. I will be teaching you on how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. A 3x3 Rubik's Cube has 6 sides with 6 different colors. And now here are the parts of a Rubik's Cube. Here is the center. The position of the center is fixed regardless of how much you scramble the cube. These are the edges and these are the corners. A center will never be an edge or a corner. An edge will also never be a center or a corner. And that's the same case with a corner. It will never be a center or an edge. Now, let's begin. In this part of our tutorial, and as stated in the title of the video, we will only focus on the first layer. To start solving the first layer, we have to choose a side to begin with. Now, I will choose to begin with the white side. Therefore, we will place it on the top. And this will be the first layer. I know that this is the white side because the center is white. Now the first thing to do is to make a cross. To do that, we need the edges with a white color. For example, this one, white and orange. Remember to always orient your chosen side at the top, or else you might be confused. Avoid rotating your cube without remembering where you originally face. I suggest to hold your cube like this when you are searching for pieces so you won't be lost and you can get back to the top side without confusion. What you have to do right now is to find edges with the white color in it. When you see one, match it with the color of the center on the sides. For example, this one, this white orange, you may just simply turn this and that's it. It's already matched with the white center and the orange center. We'll have one more. So for example, this one, this white green edge piece. So we will find the green side first. So where is the green side? Now, the green side of the edge piece is already matched with the green center. Now, we can bring this edge piece to the top to match it with the white center. This is actually the most basic situation, but of course, I will show you how to solve other complicated situations. We have four edges to solve, but in the following steps, I will show different instances in solving the last edge only. In teaching you how to solve the last edge, we will also cover how to solve all the other edges. If the edge piece can't be correctly brought to the top side with this move, I suggest to bring the edge piece first to the bottom so its movements will be more flexible because you don't want to mess up those at the top which are already correct, if there are. The way you bring it to the bottom will be better if the white side of the edge will be facing downwards, so like this. Now you may just simply match it with the center but make sure to bring back the edge which is already correct this white orange edge piece and you can bring it to the top just like that now if the edge piece can't be correctly brought to the top side with that move you may do this now face it like this the white side of the edge piece should be facing you then bring it either to the right or to the left Okay, I'll bring it to the right and then bring it up. Make sure that it will be matched with its center on the side. Then bring it up. Make sure to bring the other edge back to the top. Let me also do that when you bring this edge piece to the left side. I'll bring it to the left side, match it with the center, bring it up, and then bring this left side back. If the edge piece is already on the top, but it is flipped, you have to bring it to the bottom first. That will also be the same case earlier. Now face it like this. The white side of the edge piece should be facing you. Then bring it either to the right or to the left. I'll bring it to the right. Then I'll bring it up. Make sure that it will be matched with its center on the side. Then bring it up. Make sure to bring the other edge back to the top. Now we already have the cross. Don't celebrate yet because we have to solve the corners as well to finally finish this first layer. Next, we will put the corners to its proper position and orientation. The corners should also have a white side, of course. There are two rules that you should follow before you are able to solve the corners. First rule, place the corner at the bottom of the cube. For example, if you want to solve for the white, red, blue side, this is the white, red, blue side. 
then you must find for white, red, blue corner. If it's on the top, just bring it to the bottom. Just make sure to bring this side back so you won't mess up this edge piece. And for you to bring it back without this corner piece going back as well, get this corner out of the way and bring this edge piece back to the top. If it's already in the bottom, that won't be a problem. Second rule, make sure that you are facing the white side of the corner. And that would be the focus of the three following instances. For the first case, the corner's white side is facing you. I want to solve for the white, orange, green corner. Now we will find for that. Okay, so here it is, the white, orange, green corner. So what we will do now is to place this corner here. Why here? Since this corner should be here at the top, we will place the corner parallel to its designated place. Now face the white side of the corner. Don't twist the bottom side like this. Just turn the whole cube to face the white side of the corner. It is obvious to say that this corner is on the left side. So here's what you should do. If the corner is on the left side, bring it to the right. Bring this left side down. Bring the corner piece back to the left and bring this left side back. That's it. If the corner is on the right side, bring it to the left. Bring this right side down. Bring this corner piece back to the right and bring this right side back. That's it. For the second case, the corner's white side is facing at the bottom. I want to solve for this white, green, red corner. Now we will find for that, of course. And here it is. What we will do now is to place this corner here. Why here? Since that this corner should be here at the top, we will place the corner parallel to its designated place. This is actually the same with what we did earlier. Now face the white side of the corner, but that won't be possible because it's facing at the bottom. Here is what we should do. Our goal is to reorient this corner piece in a way that its white side will be facing you. Bring it to the back using the right side and not the bottom side. Then bring it all the way to the front until you see the white side of the corner. Bring this right side back and place it again here. You may also do this using the left side. Bring it to the back using the left side and not the bottom side. Then bring it all the way to the front until you see the white side of the corner. Then bring this left side back. Place it again here. And now you may now do the steps that we did earlier. Turn the whole cube to face the white side of the corner. Since the corner is on the right, bring it to the left. Bring this right side down, bring the corner piece back to the right, and bring this right side back. That's it. For the third case, I want to solve for this white, red, blue corner. But it is already on its proper place, but not properly oriented. So technically, it's not correct. Here's what we should do. Like in making a cross, in solving the edges, bring the corner at the bottom first. But before you do that, be careful on how you will do it. I am sure that you want a corner piece wherein its white side is already facing you when it's on the bottom side. So when facing the corner, make sure that its white side is not facing you. So it could be on your right or on your left. So in the case, we will change our orientation. So we will face the cube like this. So the white side of the corner will be on the left side. Now you can bring it down using this left side, get it out of the way, and in a way that you can see the white side of the corner, then bring this side back. What we will do now is to place this corner here. Since that this corner should be here at the top, we will place the corner parallel to its designated place. Like in other cases, we had turned the whole cube to face the white side of the corner. Since the corner is on the right, bring it to the left, Bring this right side down, bring the corner piece back to the right, and bring this right side back. That's it. 
I would just like to add this case where two corners should be exchanged. Now you'll see that you just have to exchange this two to solve both corners. Same thing with the previous case. Just bring the corner piece down. But before you do that, make sure that its white side is not facing at you. Let's start with this white, blue, orange corner. And since its white side is not facing you, so we can bring it down already, get it out of the way, and then bring this side back. What we will do now is to place this corner here. Since that this corner should be here at the top, we will place the corner parallel to its designated place like in other cases. Turn the whole cube to face the white side of the corner. Since the corner is on the left, bring it to the right, bring this left side down, bring the corner piece back to the left, and bring this left side back. That's it. Now the other piece is already free. We can now solve this one as well. Place this corner here. Since that this corner should be here at the top, we will place the corner parallel to its designated place like in other cases. Turn the whole cube to face the white side of the corner. Since this corner is on the right, bring it to the left. Bring this right side down. Bring the corner piece back to the right and bring this right side back. That's it for the first layer. I hope you understand and make sure that you already solved it before you leave this video. The second layer tutorial of this 3x3 Rubik's Cube will be uploaded very soon. We're done. If you managed to solve it, please leave a like in this tutorial. Tell your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.